Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It's spring break is over and it's time to get to work again. So I was thinking, um, I didn't go over uh, week three's uh, pages. So if you haven't uh, finished those, you need to go ahead and get the get those pages out. So we're looking at, um, make sure we're on the right one. Uh, we're on page 195. This is week three. And there is a quiz posted to Google Classroom that you need to take. Um, trying to put some grades in. Also, there's a new uh, site uh, called Class Craft. I'm really excited about it. Um, let me see if I can show you what it looks like so far. So, like, you can... Um, in this, you you have all our Google Classroom assignments are now like quests. So you uh, on the side you'll click like the quest. You can create your avatar. And so here's my guy with a really nice mustache and uh, this pet I unlocked. He's like a crazy gerbil or whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, it's on Google Classroom. Your login and information. So check it out. Anyways, let's get let's get back into the swing of things. So we're we're understanding multiplication, um, dealing with with a fraction and a whole number. Um, so use words and models to show five times three equals fifteen. Five groups of three is fifteen. Fifteen is five times as many as as three. So this is both ways you see multiplication. This is a multiplicative comparison. And this is a, uh, a model, a group of five with three in each one. So question one says, complete the sentence to describe the multiplication picture. So if I had to use words, there are six circles and the groups of four. I'll just turn this music off, sorry. Um, and groups of four equals 24. The equation will be six times four equals 24. Use the bar model at the right to uh, complete the sentence. So one box is six, but I have four boxes. So this is 24 is four times as many as six, or four times six is 24. How is six times four related to four times six? They are equal. Uh, in multiplication, you can follow that commutative property and you can multiply in any order and get the, get the same answer. Um, they are equal. Six times four is 24 and four times six is 24. Um, complete the sentence to describe the multiplication that the array shows. Okay, so we got an array which is a one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five by eight, um, right there. I didn't have to count, but hey, you know, I like to count. Um, five rows of eight equals 40. Five times eight equals 40. Draw a bar model to show five times nine. So I have, nine in one box how many times do i have it five times you might have flipped them you might have done five with nine boxes um you gotta really pay attention to what's coming first um so you had nine five times equals 45 but if you do it the way it's, it's still right it's fun because we can multiply in any order nick read seven books last month he read twice as many books this month Draw a bar model that represents, oh, oh, there goes my picture. Okay, there I am. Um, draw a bar model that represents the number of books Nick read this month. So he read seven. He read two, twice as many, two times. So your bar model is pretty simplistic. Two times seven is 14. Look at problem six. Write a multiplication equation that the bar model describes. <clears throat> Two times seven equals 14. Pretty easy. 
Write a word problem that could be modeled by the equation 3 times 6 equals 18. So write a word problem. You could have come up with anything. Um, the funnier, the better. <laughs> I always say, uh, let's see what the book came up with. Um, answers will vary. Possible answer. Anna rode her bike six miles. Jordan rode his bike three times as far as Anna. Way to go. Uh, how many miles did Jordan ride his bike? So that's, those are good uh, examples. Okay, moving on to the next page. So on this page, study how the example shows how to multiply. So when we multiply, it's just like decomposing fractions. It means I have that many of that fraction. Um, some of you look for quick and easy ways to, to do it and you figured them out like uh, the whole number sits on top of one and you can multiply across, but this is why that works. You're saying I have three fourths five times. So three fourths, three fourths, three fourths, three fourths, three fourths. Which if I combine all the ones to make a whole in this scenario and make my improper a mixed number, I would get three and three fourths. So let's look at question one. Find six times one fourth using repeated addition. This means like a decomposed problem. So I have one fourth six times, which would equal six fourths. Draw a model to show six times one fourth. So I have one fourth six times. If I combined all the ones to make a whole, so there's three pieces right there that would make a whole, and then I'd have two pieces left over. So one whole and two fourths would be left. Use the digits two and three to complete two different multiplication problems. So you needed two multiplication problems with the same product. So we have six times one fourth. Six times one fourth would equal six fourths. So two ways I could get six fourths. One is two times three fourths, which gives me six fourths. And the other is three times two fourths, which gives me six fourths. Uh, you might have put one times six fourths as well. So that would work as well if you don't have that. Don't know why the book didn't have it. I guess I'm smarter than the bit. Um, all right. Uh, now look at the model. Tell whether each expression is correct. So A, 5 times 3 eighths shows the product of 3 times. So 3 times 5 eighths would equal uh, 15 eighths because uh, 3 over 1 multiply across. 3 times 5 is 15. 1 times 8 is 8. So it would be 15 eighths. So if A equals 15 eighths, then, then it's a yes. So 5 over 1, 5 times 3 is 15, 8 times 1, yes. 5 eighths plus 5 eighths plus 5 eighths would equal 15 eighths, so that is also a yes. 5 eighths times 5 eighths times 5 eighths would not work. Uh, you can add them like we decomposed. That's adding the pieces. But if we're multiplying 5 times 5 equals 25, Eight times eight, you know, you got to keep, it'll keep going. It'll get bigger and bigger. So this is a no. And then 15 times one, eight. 15 over one, 15 times one is 15. Eight times one is eight. So 15 eight. So that is a yes as well. So yes, yes, no, and yes. A little fun fact, uh, Gideon's favorite word right now is no. Gideon, you want to play outside? No. Do you love your dad? No. You want a snack? Snack. Uh, the number line shows, so look at the number line. We're at, you gotta look at how it's jumping. So it's jumping three tenths. One, two, three. And how many times does it jump? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry. It jumped. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It jumped eight times. Eight times of a jump. 
And what's each jump equal to three tenths? Eight times three tenths. Label the number line and use it to show three times three fourths. Okay, so uh, you're given a number line. We, we are jumping three times. One, two, three. We're starting at three fourths. Each one is equal to three fourths. So three fourths, six fourths, nine fourths. That's what your number line should look like. I skipped that one because I don't like number lines and my mom didn't know how to do it. So yeah, go ahead and fix it now. Uh, draw a model to show three times four fifths. Okay, so here's your model. <laughs> I didn't even cover it up. So there's three four fifths. And that's, that's really it. Uh, you might have shown the answer. You might have combined these and got your, uh, your mixed number. You would have found that uh, it would have been 12 fifths or two holes and um, two, two fifths left over. Look at the model you drew in problem seven. Use the digits two, three, four, five, and six. Write two different multiplication problems. So you can only use these digits, two, three, four, five, and six, and write two different multiplication problems. So um, here are all the possible solutions. Six times two fifths, four times two, uh, three fifths, sorry, and two times six fifths. So those are your, your possible. Uh, if you did a one, one was not one of the choices. It, it probably would work, uh, but you, you gotta read the directions. Lisa says that three times one six and one six times one six times one six have the same product. Oh, sorry, Lisa. You're wrong. Remember, we talked about it over here. This it doesn't model decomposing, multiplying. So what she meant to say is three times one six is the same as one six plus one six plus one six. So is Lisa respond, uh, reasoning correct? No. Lisa's reason is not correct. Here are all the reasons why Lisa is wrong. Uh, three times one six is the same as adding one six three times. One six plus one six plus one six. Three times one six is not the same as multiplying one six three times. So three times one six does not have the same product. That's a long answer. You could have simply just said, no, she's not correct because uh, it's it's the same thing as one, six, three times. Okay, moving right along. We are now on page 203, 204. Okay, so moving into this, write a fraction, uh, write the fraction multiplication problem that is modeled below. So we have three groups of three fourths. So three times three fourths, which would equal nine fourths if you wanted to figure that part out. Label the number line to show seven times one half. So one half, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get seven halves, which is equal to three and one half, by the way. Write seven times one half as repeated addition. That's one half seven times, which you probably, you could have found uh, seven halves or you could have put equals to three and one half. You didn't have to. Find seven times one half. Here's where you have to. Seven times one half equals seven halves, which equals three halves. So we did all that to do this. Most of you could have done this in your sleep without doing any of this, but this is why it works. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. I meant to move the paper. Going to mess it up, Mr. Matters. Newbie. Uh, fill in the blanks to show different ways to write problems with the same product as 4 times 3 eighths. Okay, 12 times 1 eighth and 3 times 4 e over 8. So 4 times 3 equals... 12 eighths. Okay. So you're trying to get 12 eighths again. Another way to get 12 eighths would be 12 times 1 eighth 
or three times four eighths, which would give you 12 eighths. You could have also said uh, one times 12 eighths as well. Uh, draw them all to show three times two six. So I have three times with two six, and uh, you could have changed it into a mixed number. So that would have been here, and that it would have equaled uh, three times two six would be six six, which would equal just one whole. You, you might have saw that and, and put that down. Look at the model you drew in problem six. Write two different multiplication problems that have the same product. So once again, two times three six, six times one six. Uh, you might have said one times six six, or well, you couldn't do three times two six because they've already gave us that. Solve the multiplication problem you wrote in problem seven. Explain why they have the same product possible explanation. They have the same product because they have the same number of six. Three times two six, they will ha all have six six. So basically, a fancy way of saying it is they have the same number of six, those pieces. They have the same number of them. Okay. Uh, Nadia. Nadia made four loaves of bread. She used three eighths te uh, teaspoons of baking soda for each loaf. Write a multiplication problem you could use to find how many teaspoons of baking soda uh, Nadia used. So she had four loaves, three eighths for each one, so it'd be four times three eighths. Solve it. Four times three eighths would be twelve eighths. Which, if you turn that improper fraction into a mixed number, 8 can go into 12 one time with 4 left over. So it would be 1 whole and 4 eighths. Math is so much fun. Yeah. Appreciate all two of you that are watching this right now. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there's more than two. You, you guys got to be missing me by now. Um, all right, solve the problems. Benson, his name is Benson. Uh, Benson spent five six of an hour reading on on each of the three days of the week. How long did Benson spend reading this week? Okay, so three times five eighths equals fifteen. Or sorry, three times five six equals fifteen six. Six can go into 15 two times with three left over. So, how many hours? 15, six, or two and three, six. Show how to use repeated addition. Check your answer to uh, problem one. So, if I put five, six plus five, six plus five, six, I should get 15, six. That's decomposing. That's easy. Uh, so, Sabrina rode her bike three-fourths of a mile. Katrina rode her bike four times as far as Sabrina. How far did Katrina ride her bike? Phone is deciding it's going to blow up. All right, I got to read that again. Sabrina rode her bike three-fourths of a mile. Katrina rode her bike four times as far as Sabrina. How far did Katrina ride her bike? Four times three fourths equals twelve fourths. Twelve fourths is equal to four can go into twelve. Three times. Don't know those three times tables or four times tables. What you waiting on, dude? Fifth grade's coming. All right. On Saturday, George coaches soccer for one half of a day. He also coaches tennis and swimming each for the same amount of time as soccer. What fraction of the day does George spend coaching Saturdays? So three on Saturdays, George coaches one twelfth of the day. Uh, he also coaches tennis and swimming, each for the same amount. So that's three sports, soccer, tennis, swimming, three times one twelfth for the same amount. What fraction? So three times one twelfth would equal three twelfths. Three twelfths of the day he spends coaching. What a great guy. Uh, Goethe, Goethe who plays dodgeball. G 
Goethe planted flower seeds in 12 pots. She used two sticks of a bag of flour in each pot. How many bags of flour seeds did Goethe use? 12 times two six. 12 times two equals 24. Oh, no, what did I just do? Oh, okay. Whew, power technology. Um, 12 times 2, 6 equals 24, 6 bags. Leslie practiced the flute for 2, 6 of an hour, three times a week, and drove her parents crazy. Um, she practiced piano, uh, overachiever, uh, for two thirds of an hour, two times a week. Which expression below can be used to show how much time Leslie spent uh, practicing both the flute and the piccolo? So she's got two, um, two different instruments she's playing. So this is this is the tough part because they're two different fractions. So the choices were three times two six, because she plays three times a week, and two two times uh, two two thirds because that's how two times a week. So. And then you would add those. So A is correct. Five. Five times. So it looks like they added these two together and then they tried to add these. The problem is you can't add these fractions. Why? Waiting. Like Dora the Explorer. I'm just going to blink. Because they have different denominators. That's right. Good job. Uh, uh, if you have a... You have... This is a decomposed... <laughs> Gideon's out there crying. He wants to come in. Last, we're real close. We're almost finished. Uh, two six plus two six plus two six plus two thirds plus two thirds is correct. And uh, three times two over six plus two times two over three is correct as well. Because they multiplied the whole. That's all they did there. Which did Leslie practice for a longer amount of time, the flute or piano? Show your work. So, if you multiply 3 times 2, 6, you get 6, 6, which equals a whole hour. If you do the piano, 2 times 2 thirds equals 4 thirds, which equals 1 hour and 1 third hours. So, that means piano got more of her time, which rightly show. So, I think piano is, is a little bit tougher. It's both hands. I don't know. I don't play piano or um, flute. They probably are both equally as hard. All right, guys, if you have not taken taken week three quiz, uh, you need to do that now, now that you've gone over your work. If you have not, oh, did I not do this one? Sabrina rode her bike three-fourths of a mile. Uh, Katerine rode her bike four times as far as Sabrina. How far did Katerine? Four times three-fourths is 12 fourths. 12 fourths. I, I, I feel like I did that one, but if I missed it, there it is. Um, take your quiz. If you do it on uh, class craft, you will get XP and you can uh, buy things with that. There's also some boss battles, uh, some some cool things on there. So check it out. Uh, there's a Google Classroom list of your login codes. All right, guys. Thanks for checking this video out. And I will see you here again soon. That's not the right tab. One of these days I'll get it.